Hi, welcome to Luxury in Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. Today I wanted to share my experience getting my Kelly Depeche pouch repaired. So that is this bag right here. And I'm actually making this video a lot sooner than I thought because the repair process was much shorter than I thought it would be. But let's go back to the beginning and start from there. I have a quick video clip of when I dropped the Kelly Dupeche off at my local Hermes shop. And I'll play that now um, because that was about a month ago. Hi guys, so today is December 27th, 2023. And I've just arrived at the Hermes parking lot. Today I'm going to bring in my uh, Kelly Depeche pouch to get it uh, restitched, hopefully. I'm gonna ask what the process is, how long it's gonna take, and basically, um, hopefully they can get it done and return back to me ASAP. I've brought my Kelly Dupesh in its uh, dust bag, um, and that's all in my Garden Party 30. Um, and I will report back um, as soon as I'm done here. All right, so I just dropped off my Kelly Dupesh at the Hermes Boutique. They did say that it would take six months because they have to send it to Paris. And I did ask if they could only take the strap and not the actual pouch because that's where the pop stitches. But they said no, they had to take the whole thing. Um, so unfortunately, I'm going to be out of that bag for six months. Um, but they said they wanted to double check everything. Um, so I did get this receipt that they received my bag, um, my repair request. And then they said I would get another message once um, they've checked it in, once Paris received it, then they would have to double check if it actually costs anything. So right now, I don't even know if I have to pay for this repair or not. Hopefully, I don't have to pay anything, but we'll see. Cross your fingers, hopefully it won't take that long. So in my previous video where I talked about having a pop stitch on the strap, I shared that, you know, the pop stitch was already there when I purchased it last August. I used it a couple of times and then I really felt like I wanted to get it repaired because I was a little bit self-conscious of having that pop stitch when I was taking it out. It just felt like it was an imperfection that people could see. So I did want to get it repaired before I really started using the pouch more. And so when I dropped it off last December, originally they told me that it would take six months, which is the same time frame that the original sales lady told me who sold it to me. They said, oh, they couldn't repair it in New York and they would have to send it back to Paris. And then like the whole ordeal was gonna take six months. So I was ready to not have this pouch for a very long time. Fortunately, the process was much quicker. So the process included me dropping it off at my local store. They took some photos of the issue, you know, of the pop stitch. They recorded it, you know, in their system. They said, we're going to receive it into our local boutiques repair person. So I was going to get an email from the local person assessing the damage and also telling me how much it would cost to fix. So I did tell the sales lady that, you know, the issue was already there when I purchased it, but I don't know if she took note of that or not. I was waiting for this email from our local repair person to wait to see if I needed to spend anything to repair it. Fortunately, they quoted me zero dollars, so I didn't have to pay anything for the repair. I don't know if that's because of the time frame that I took it in for repair. Again, I'd only bought it less than five months before, so maybe they took that into calculation or maybe they were like, you know, this isn't a big deal. Maybe they had noted that it was already popped when I bought it. In any case, the quote was zero, but again, I was expecting six months. So I was like, they asked me to confirm that I was okay with the price and then they went on with their way. So very unexpectedly, I got a call last week telling me that my bag was ready to be picked up at my local shop. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's only been less than a month. So I went down, I picked it up, they had me sign some paperwork. 
I did ask if it was repaired in New York or not. The salesperson didn't really know, but his guess was that yes, it had been repaired in New York because otherwise it wouldn't have been such a short time frame. He did say that all of the repair people in New York are trained in Paris, which I believe. So it's not like it's different quality and I'm much happier being able to get this bags back sooner. So I'm happy that they were able to repair it very well in New York and I could get it back so soon. Hmm, I can't remember which side the pop stitch was on, if it was on the top here or the bottom, but either way, it doesn't matter because all the stitches look amazing now. So they brought it back to me in another dust bag. So I think I have an extra dust bag now. Um, one of the things I wanted to mention is that when I got the bag back or the pouch back, it felt a bit dry, like the leather felt kind of scaly. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the weather here or New York or you know what they did with it, but one of the first things that I did was condition the leather with my Cole Haan leather conditioner when I got back. So I did that all over the strap as well. Um, so just it's a good practice to do that with your bags once in a while anyways. Um, otherwise, you know, there's not much I can say about it other than I do plan on using this a lot more now. I plan on using it as a wristlet, as a clutch, but also as a crossbody bag. So I did purchase a crossbody strap to go with this bag. I think it should get here by the time this video is posted. If it does, I will add on a clip of that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Otherwise, if it doesn't get here in time, then I'll just put like a shorts video up on my channel. So if you're interested in that, just make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. I did just find a leather strap maker on Etsy. Um, I wanted my strap to be quite long because I want it to sit very low on my hip. Most of the straps are higher so that, you know, it would kind of sit higher kind of middle of my waist and I didn't really want that look. So hopefully the strap will make this bag much easier to use day to day because it'll give me my hands free. And then there's also a couple different ways to connect it. I was thinking that I would connect it to the D-ring inside of the bag that the existing strap attaches onto. So that's what I'm talking about right here. There's only one, there's not one on both sides. So we would have to kind of work on that. But also recently I've seen that a lot of people just put their straps onto the side here because the sangles kind of create a little place for you to loop it. So I might try that. I'll have to figure out if that's bad for the singles or not. Um, I think it, should, it shouldn't be too bad, especially because this bag isn't too big. I'm really not going to be able to stuff it with a lot of heavy things. Um, so I think for this bag it might be okay, but I'm just gonna do a little experimenting with that. I do feel like I'm going to have to be a little bit careful when using it with the strap though because that's how the original stitch popped when there was a bit too much pressure on you know this joint right here. Hopefully that won't happen again. Hopefully the stitches are at the right tension where it can bend and be flexible in the way that's functional. Um, I did receive the strap in time so let's talk about that a little bit. So this is the leather strap that I ordered in the gray color. I think it does match the Etan color of the Hermes Togo leather very well. It is a different texture though. The Togo leather does have pebbling and texture on top of the leather. The strap that I ordered has no texture. It's actually a little bit like a suede soft material. It's smooth and it does not have any texture or pebbling on it. I don't think um, it's very visible and it looks like it matches the Depeche pouch pretty well. So I did get an adjustable one. There are a lot of different holes and the strap arrived on 
this hole, which is why there's a little kink there, but I've actually shortened it so that it fits like where the bag would just hit my waist right here. And that is with the strap looping through the top of the flap. So let me just show you how I have connected it here. Using the D-ring that's on just one side of the Depeche pouch, I have clipped both of them through this one. So one obviously goes straight upwards. The other one, it will have to lay across the inside flap of the Kelly Depeche. And then you can just clip it onto the same D-ring just in the opposite direction. So this is how, so I needed this much extra strap to run through the flap. Um, and then you can see here how it just works like that. I think the silver hardware matches very well too. So it looks like a cohesive piece. I mentioned that some people want to clip the strap through the singles on the side. I can't do that with mine because my clip is too short. So even if I tried, like I would have to, you know, contort the leather in a bad way in order to fit it through the silver hardware. But if you had a clip that was big enough, I think it's certainly possible. I think it will stress the leather of the sangles a little bit. Um, you know, you're just carrying weight there. So I don't know if long term it'll do bad things to the leather. But I'm pretty happy with the way that I have connected mine like this. I just have to be careful that, you know, when I open it, that this part does not just like go like that. And then the bag is going to hang like this. So I am very excited to try this out. I will leave the link to the Etsy store where I bought this from. I think it's a very well-made strap. It's very thick leather. The uh, hardware here, it's actually got corners on it so it will lay flat even with the thick leather going through it. It once kind of strange or interesting thing about it though is there is a marking on the leather you can see right in the middle there where it seems like they probably ran it through a sewing machine just something that kind of like ran across the entire leather so it's consistent throughout the entire strap it might bother some of you guys in case you don't like the look of that for me, um, for the price that this was, which was very, very affordable, I think that the strap is exactly what I need. Um, you know, it's a color that matches. It's the right length for me. So I am very happy with it. And it does have this extra loop here. So even though the tail of the strap is very long, like I don't have any problem with it just staying like that. So anyways, that was my repair experience at Hermes. Very happy with the way things turned out. I didn't have to pay anything. It was in a very short amount of time. Um, everything looks great. So I'm very happy with the successful repair. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful or interesting for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!